Hi, I'm Sean McGeeran with Kansas City, Kansas Community College. Uh, I'm the uh, Building and Property Maintenance Instructor here. I've been here for five years. Uh, today we're going to talk about a couple plumbing fixtures that you typically see in the bathroom. Nowadays what we typically see in a bathroom is a shower stall which has a shower valve and a shower head in it, uh, your lavatory sink, and then also your toilet. And what we're going to talk about briefly today are some of the specifics about the drain and supply line systems uh, and also the venting systems that are required per code. We're going to start with the uh, shower valve and typically nowadays what you see is what we call a mixing valve. Um, back in the, you know, back in the day, early probably 80s, 70s, 60s, maybe back into the 50s too, we had what we used to see as a dual handle shower valve that had two handles, a cold and a hot handle, and then one that would turn the uh, shower on and off. Nowadays we have what we call mixing valves and they regulate temperature so uh, somebody is not scalded when maybe the uh, toilet's flushed because the toilet requires cold water supply. So both cold and hot water, and we've identified them with colors as blue as cold and red as hot, um, is mixed into here and then comes out of the shower valve at a controlled temperature. So what I like to show my students here is some easy repairs if we had a dripping shower head that wouldn't stop. Uh, it's very easy to disassemble the shower valve by taking the housing off with a wrench and then easily removing the shower stem by hand. And as you can see here, there is a, a lining gasket on the back side and what we call in plumbing an O-ring on the side. And these are very pivotal in, as far as for pressure and for leaking. Uh, if one of these are damaged in any way, if I was to cut this O-ring, it would leak. If I was to cut the gasket back here, it would allow water to continue to drip or flow to the shower head. So they're very easily repaired or replaced. If I wanted to just go buy a new stem valve, I could for this shower valve and easily just pull it out and replace it with a new one. So we'll reassemble this and just seat this back in here and then wrench this on. We'll hand tighten first and then we'll grab a wrench and we'll tighten that back on until it's fully seated. A couple other things I want to sh I typically work with my students on are in this scenario we used a newer product that's called PEX which is plastic supply line. It's taken the place of copper and it's very easily assembled versus standing here and soldering or welding all these joints together. Uh, PEX is flexible. As you can see here, it has flexibility to it and it's very easily connected to its fittings. In this scenario we used, or this buildup, we used brass PEX fittings and also brass uh, PEX fittings for around the shower valve. 